All right, good morning. This is not the prettiest face for you guys to wake up to, but I wanna show you what I'm using on my face right now. I just washed my face and I'm using a enzyme mask. It's a yam and pumpkin peel. So this is what I have on my skin right now. So I have 10 minutes that I can chat with you, but I won't take up the whole 10 minutes because that's how much our vlog is. I want to sit down and talk with you guys a little bit. Over the last, I would say year, I've been really trying to focus on making really good changes in my life when it comes to spirituality, mentally, um, physically. I've gained 10 pounds um, since, over the last few months. It's been an interesting ride over this last year since having Tommy. So just now I got off of the computer and I had Skyped my therapist. I've been seeing a therapist every other week for the last maybe eight weeks and she has been following along with my emotions and how I've been feeling and I, Jared and I are wanting to make improvements in our life and prioritize our life and I've been having this internal conflict over the last few weeks. And truthfully, since Jared and I went to Grant Thompson's few viewing, it truly changed our life. We came home and we were inspired by his family with his wife. Uh, we were inspired by him and the life he lived. And I want to follow my gut. And I don't always do that. When we started YouTube, it was a gut. We started. When we started the cookbook, that was our gut. We started that. Bali brand, or my clothing line, when we started that, it was like we knew we needed to do it. And over the last few weeks, I've had this gut feeling that I haven't been following and it has been causing me internal turmoil. I have been stressed, I've had anxiety. And as I was talking to my therapist this morning, we were talking about, she's like, well, is it realistic? Like, are you being realistic with your time? Like your schedule, the YouTube, um, Bali brand, everything that I'm doing, my kids, am I being realistic with myself? And I said, well, yeah, I'm getting it done. And, I, and then I said, but it's not realistic because it's causing grief on my kids. It's causing stress for me, so no, it's not realistic. Usually when you have a baby and you work, you cut back because you can't do it more. And when I was pregnant, we cut a video out because I just couldn't mentally keep up. And right now, I want my job to be how it was when I started, where it was fun and I enjoyed it and I don't wanna feel internal turmoil of I have to show my life if someday I, I don't want to. And so I believe that Jared and I are gonna be doing three videos a week, probably like Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday is what our schedule will be moving forward. And I felt I didn't want to like talk about it or share it because like this is like a group community and I don't want to let people down but I need to do this for me right now while I am working on other things where YouTube isn't just my full-time job and I post all the time every day on Instagram I post a lot so if you want to see other parts of us um, if you do love following the vlogs please go to Instagram I post stories all the time I love interacting with you guys here, and I love interacting with you there. YouTube has made a lot of changes. It's hard to interact because of the comment section. I try and respond on my Instagram. If I don't comment on every comment, I really try and at least heart it so you know that I've seen it. I love interacting with you, and maybe that's why I've been more drawn to Instagram is because like I can interact with you guys more. With the changes YouTube is making, it doesn't like family content. The YouTube world is changing. When we started, we were so lucky to be able to do what we're doing, and we're not going anywhere. We're still here. I just have to back off a little bit for me to feel like I'm being fulfilled with my one duty that I want to do, which is motherhood. I just, I have to do it for me. Anyway, let's move on to the next clip. My face mask is burning my face. Now I need to go rinse it off. So <laughs> I just want to give you guys a little update. Frankly, making changes like this is scary. And it's interesting that I say that I'm scared because we kind of jumped into the whole daily vlog thing on the premises of what would you do if you weren't afraid? And I feel like Ellie and I have kind of switched gears on that where she is the one who's saying, Jared, what would you do if you weren't afraid? And I have to follow suit just like she did six years ago when we started daily vlogging. Now, that being said, when we do make changes like that, it allows for other opportunities to come in and basically um, rekindle the fire of things or take things off of the back burner that we wanted to. And that's what I'm doing right now 
this is something that I have to set up. Speaking of new projects, organization, and all of that, I've been working on some projects of my own that I'm very excited about, and one of them requires that I have an Android phone. And if you guys know me, I love getting packages in the mail, and I love Phones. I am a phone geek. You guys know that I used to work in the mobile phone industry. And so when I got this package in the mail, I was very, very excited. This right here is the LG G8 ThinQ. This is always my favorite part. Oh, microfiber cloth. The LG G8 ThinQ, now with air motion, hand ID, crystal sound, OLED, and Google Assistant button. Yes, please! I actually take that back. This is my favorite part. Now you might be asking yourself and you might say something like, I don't know, self, why is Jared getting this phone instead of another phone for his project? This phone has some pretty particular features that other phones don't and I really wanted to try them out. And when LG reached out and wanted to sponsor this video, I said, absolutely, I've been looking at this phone so I'm very excited and I wanna thank LG for sponsoring today's video and I wanna get into this phone right now and show you some of those cool features. If you guys follow tech at all, you know that LG makes some of the best displays ever with OLED and this phone has an OLED display. So what that means, it's a completely immersive cinematic experience. The blacks are black. The colors are perfect. It is really a great experience whether you're watching a YouTube video, I don't know, like Ellie and Jared, a movie or a game. There's something missing from this phone though, and you might have to look pretty close to realize what it is. I'll give you one second to think about it. Can't figure it out? Well, there's no grill for the earpiece. The reason being is because it has what's called crystal sound OLED. And what that means, the screen is the speaker. So when you're playing games, watching movies, or on a phone call, the screen is your speaker. There's a few different ways you can unlock your phone. You can use a fingerprint, you can use a pin code, but now there's a feature called Hand ID where you can unlock your phone by scanning your hand. Coupled with Hand ID, there's something called Air Motion. And what that does is it allows you to control your phone using your hand without touching the screen. You can take screenshots, you can accept or reject phone calls, you can even control the volume or even play and pause videos with it. You guys know I love taking photos with my phone and I wanna show a few of the ones that I have taken just today out of the box. You have photos that look good with a blurred background, you have a super wide lens. There's lots of different modes that you can use on this camera and they're all really great. So I'm excited to get to work, I'm excited to get my hands on this more, test it out, try it out. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to find out more information about the LG G8 ThinQ, I'll have a link in the description so you guys can check it out. And we want to thank LG for sponsoring today's video. Hey boys, do you want to help me set up this table in here? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I like to hear. Does this look pretty cool? Uh, do you know what this is? Table? Yeah, part of a table. And we're going to do it together. <laughs> do you think you can take this? Yes, that right there. And do you think you can uh, screw that side. down? Yeah, either way. Then what are you doing? I'm tight. I'm making a table. For what? For my office down here. No. Pretty cool, huh? Is that kind of hard? Uh-oh, we dropped it. Don't worry, I do that all of the time. <laughs> Almost there, bud. Use all your muscles! Good job, thanks for your help. <laughs> I know you love to hammer things, don't you? So I saved some hammering for you. Can you help me with some hammering? Uh, yeah. What if I help you? Uh, yeah. Okay, all right. So I've got the hammer right here. But I don't want to get pushed from these. You won't. The camera fell, but we did it. Do you want to do more? I know. Okay, all right, well thanks for the help. I'm nearly done in the podcast room, just gotta do a little bit more organization. Did I say podcast room out loud? Oh my goodness gracious, spoiler alert. I like do you it. like mommy's hair? No, I like it, I love it. Love it this much. You love it that much? Tommy, do you like mommy's hair? <laughs> no. no! Speaking of change, what do you guys think? Is it I beautiful? love it! I love it! I cut it, I chopped it. I have some hair products coming. Do you think it looks good? Yeah, I think, I it think looks it's fresh. Cute. I really wanted it just cut, and I think it looks like just nice. Now it's my turn to give you a hit. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you like my hair? Dance. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I got it to do it. Is I just said dance, and then we edited it, and then it looked like he said no. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Tommy, am I funny? 
<laughs> if you guys have been watching our vlogs over the last month, you know that Jackson is earning money because he wants a dirt bike. This is his jar of money that he is earning. There's coins in there, there's some money, dollar bills, some big dollar bills in there. Every day, what job can I do today, mom, to earn money? Will you give me money for picking up my toys? Making beds, picking up toys, putting your dishes in the sink. You do not earn money doing that. That's just what you should do. That's what I'm teaching my kids. But if he wants to earn money, he can help me put laundry away. Like he's helping me with laundry. He can help us when we pick up dog poop. He can earn money that way. Or I can give him a rag and he can go wipe door handles on the doors to sanitize them. So right now I'm having him help me with laundry. And then he can earn a little bit of money for his dirt bike. I don't even know how much dirt bikes are. Jared and I are very adamant that he earns his money for this because this is something. Without a motor, I'm just going to get like a bike bike. Hmm, okay. Yeah, a motorcycle bike, like a dirt bike. That's what he wants, so we'll see. I want one with a motor that goes in mud and dirt. Mud and, and dirt. And I want it the color red. Okay. I, I mean, I mean blue. As my kids get older, they will have to do their laundry, but as they're little right now, of course I'm gonna pay them $2 to help me with all of this laundry that I, I have going on. I'm gonna pay me $2 for this. How much do you think you deserve? Um, Mm, I'm gonna give you two dollars, and that's even that's no. even nice, generous. Mm -hmm. Three? I could do three dollars. He's learning how to bargain already. Does Cody's house have weeds? Yeah, I think they might. You want to pick those weeds? Why don't you want to pick the weeds at our house, where you have perfectly good weeds ready for picking? Do you want to pick our weeds? Maybe tomorrow night you can stay up late and help me pick weeds. That sounds fun. Okay, so as you can see, Jackson's trying to get more jobs that he can get money. He's like, now whose house can I pick weeds? My goal, like as, as parents, it's like you want your kids to one, want to work, to earn money, to be respectful. It's just like there's so many things we want to try and teach our kids. And I feel like Jackson's just coming into that age of like understanding that you have to work for money, you have to do your part. So I just thought that was sweet. I just caught him asking Jared if he could go pick weeds. So that is it for today. We are going to say goodbye to you guys until our next video. I have had a sense Bye of guys. relief. Bye guys, I love you mommy. Oh, I've had a sense of relief since talking to you guys this morning. And just so I can organize and prioritize my life, I feel good about the decisions that we are making. Yeah. We so appreciate you guys following. I will show you not Jackson, but now he is changing shirts. So even from following us before we had him. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys in our next video. Maybe I'll do my hair for you guys. If I can cute. see how I can I figure it out. Okay. It. Bye guys. Bye.